Hey everyone, we are back live again from Facebook headquarters. Uh, we've moved uh, to the live uh, video launch room uh, where you can look around. This is the, the core team who's been working on uh, live for many months now to <laughs> launch this out to the, the whole world. Uh, and yeah, we're pretty psyched. That was pretty subdued, but. <laughs> <laughs> We've been working on this for, for a while. This is, um, you know, people are watching all these live videos around the world now. Um, and you know, I mean, I think the, the reason why we're we're so excited about this is that it's this new, really raw, personal, uh, and spontaneous way that people can share, right? Where you know now you don't have to take a bunch of videos or photos and uh, curate them and find exactly the most perfect one. You can just go live and. Uh, feel like you're really there with your friends or people all over the world um, and be able to just interact with people there. And you know, that's what's really special about, about uh, what this new format is, is that it's not just uh, you know, people taking a video and sharing it, it's interactive. So you know, what I was hoping to do today is, um, is just take some questions and hear how you guys are thinking about this through, uh, from our community all around the world um, and, and tell you how we're thinking about this. But, uh, we're really excited about live uh, to bring it to everyone. We think about this as bringing uh, the power to uh, broadcast uh, from a smartphone to anyone in the world. It's like having a, a, a TV camera uh, in your pocket all the time. Um, and we're excited to bring this superpower to everyone in our community. So, uh, so what do you guys think? What, what are you wondering about? Um, all right, so how do we think that live uh, communication is going to change the world. Um, it's a good, it's a, a lofty one to, to get started. Um, you know, a lot of what we see at Facebook is that the way that people want to share, you know, people want to express what's going on in their lives, right? They, they want to be there with their friends and, and family and the people they care about. And um, a lot of the way that we see our job is to give people richer and richer tools to do that. So if you go back 10 years, you know, a lot of how people uh, shared and communicated and um, experienced content on the internet was text. Um, and you know, then we all got phones and they had cameras and uh, we were able to take pictures and the internet has become you know, more and more visual. And now I think because the technology is really ready, um, we're entering this new golden age of video online. And what we're gonna see is that it's not just gonna be uh, the same kind of videos that you watched on TV or or YouTube or the web before, there are going to be new kinds of interactive and social experiences. And that's, I think, what we're starting to see with live is the ability to um, broadcast, uh, hang out with your friends, be there, um, present, interact, uh, take questions uh, from, from a community. And um, I think that that is, it's, it, it produces these much more raw and personal moments, which I think is what this community is all about. It's, you know, spreading understanding about what we all care about. Uh, and, and getting the, the word out about really cool, uh, entertaining, and important things. So, I mean, I think today, you know, some of the lives that, that I saw uh, while I was just flipping through live around the world is, um, you know, I was talking to, to some of the folks in, in the launch room before. One of the, one of, one of the lives that, that, that everyone here is buzzing about is um, this eagle cam. In, in, um, in a zoo where it's, I mean, there's these bald eagles and these little baby cute bald eagles. And I mean, like, what's wrong with... Uh, a cute bald, you know, everyone, everyone loves that. And, um, and there were just like thousands of people tuned in watching these um, cute little baby bald eagles and um, you know, wondering what's gonna happen. And it's uh, just kind of a, a new kind of thing. Because if, if it was a, a pre-recorded video, you would have known what was gonna happen. But because it's live, you don't, you don't fully know. Um, you know, I, I was talking a little bit earlier today about the other day I was, I was watching um, live around the world and one of the videos that I saw was this woman who was skiing down a slope uh, with her kids. And you know, it wasn't a particularly intense slope or, or anything like that, but um, it was this real kind of fun moment to, to watch it and, and participate and you know, see, you, you, you see these little kids and you're like, oh, I just hope that they have fun and, and, um, and, and really nail it going down the slope. So it's just a really cool new, new experience. All right, n next question over here. Um, all right, so do you think that this new broadcast option will change how artists can share their work, uh, particularly live performance artists like comedians uh, and musicians. 
a absolutely. I mean, when, when I look at the new live video tab and, you know, see the, the kind of stuff that people are sharing, you know, every day there are people who are performing, whether it's, you know, DJs spinning or uh, people dancing and, and just dancing to, to other music, dancing to music that they're making. Uh, people go live from concerts uh, that, that they're watching or that they're performing. And it's, I think it's a really awesome um, new, new experience for people to be able to get uh, their music and their performance out into the world. Um, over time, we want to make it so that this can, can grow into a sustainable way that a lot of independent artists can, um, can make a living and make money as well. Um, you know, and I think that there are some pretty uh, clean ways that, 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 we'll, that we'll be able to do that and support the whole artistic community, and we're really excited about getting to that. Uh, but, you know, one step at a time today, what we're really excited about is just getting live video and the power to broadcast to anyone um, out into everyone's hands around the world. Um, and we'll work on um, some of these business model pieces over the coming months. All right. So what is the procedure to go live now on Facebook? All right, I will show you on my, my iPhone. Um, so here we go. Come on over here. Um, I have the yellow version of the Facebook app, which is our internal build. Um, and so you can go to the live tab. And, um, and, and here's basically uh, the experience I was talking about. You can see where people are live. I, uh, I don't actually know what, what these people are talking about. We'd have to, we'd have to go into it. Um, here, I think, is the, this is the eagle video um, that, that I think you guys were talking about from explore.org. Um, or, or at least it looks like some kind of bird. And you know, here's, here are my friends. You know, here's Loic. Um, and, and people who I'm following going live. Um, Robin Morris, who's a designer on the team, um, going live. And if I want to go live, um, I just tap that button. All right, so you, you get the tab. Um, you, can, you can tap the button to go live. Of course, the other way that you can do it is um, you, from Newsfeed, uh, you can tap on the composer at the top, and you have all these different options, and you can tap live video and just go from there. Um, so th this was kind of a, a pre-build internal version of... Uh, the Facebook app. So, you know, I mean, you might have seen some stuff in there that uh, that's uh, we're just playing around with and testing. Um, you know, not everything there is going to launch. Um, some of it will over time, but um, but we're really excited. The live stuff is going to be rolling out soon, and it's something that uh, you know we're obviously very excited to get in everyone's hands. All right, let's see what what's the the next question here. Are we focusing on adding creative tools for live? And uh, the answer to that is also yes. We're actually, part of the announcement today is that we're adding a bunch of filters. So I don't know if, if we can play with them here. Do you, you have filters? Uh, not, not in the current build that we're using today yet. Um, but, you know, a couple weeks ago, uh, we announced that this really talented team, Masquerade, um, which has built this app for filtering um, that people really love. I posted this video. Of, of myself with, with an Iron Man mask on, which I, you know, I don't have an Iron Man mask, but it was just a, a, a computer graphics filter um, that you can apply to, to videos as you're taking them. You know, this, this team is going to be focused on, um, um, among other things, making it so that there are awesome filters for live, and we're rolling out a bunch today. And um, we're excited about all kinds of different creative tools that as you're going live, um, communicating with your friends and, and the whole world, um, you can do some creative stuff with it, with it as well. All right, let's see. Uh, next question can, uh, from Erica. Uh, can, can lives be replayed? Uh, yes, definitely. So, you know, it's live while you're, uh, while you're broadcasting and streaming. And, uh, and then as soon as you're done, it converts to a, a video on Facebook, and people can, can watch it. And one of the new things that we just started rolling out is that now, you, you know, as you're live, I mean, you guys can, can see this, there's this whole comment thread that's happening, and you know I can interact with you. I can see the questions that you're asking, um, and I, I can respond to them. And you know people can talk about uh, what I'm saying and, and interact. And that's part of the magic of it, and, and a lot of the reason why we think it's so uh, fun and, and engaging. So what we wanted to do is make it so that uh, when when the video is done, instead of just seeing all the comments like on a normal Facebook post, you know, seeing them ranked so that you know the top most liked comment is on the top. Um, we want to make it so that it replays the whole conversation. So, you know, if people are liking or, um, or loving or angry about, you know, what I'm saying or what other people are saying, you're, you're seeing those emotions um, fly across the screen. And when you replay the video, uh, you should be able to uh, just see all that stuff. 
um, right at the, the right time as people are doing it while um, while I or anyone else is talking, uh, which, you know, by the way, I just.